Nessa, I really appreciate you coming on this date with me. Like I was saying, the divorce papers with my wife are finalized. Milo, first off, I said this wasn't a date. Oh, you're so cute when you fib. The reason why I agreed to this date... Ah, you said it. Ugh, the reason why I agreed to this business meeting was for me to tell you this has to stop. Nessa, you shouldn't fight what you feel. I know you're feeling what I am. Remember that day at the park? Yes, okay, I remember. And it's been hard pretending like all this means nothing to me. Nessa, there's nothing in this world I love more than grass Pokemon, farming crops, riverboat gambling, singing country music, and you. You might not want the public to know, but I know how you feel about me. My love, I'm not a good person. You shouldn't want to be with me. Nessa, when I say I love you, I mean all of you, including your past and whatever mistakes you may have made. Milo, I admit, the day at the park was something truly special, and I'll cherish it, honestly, but it shouldn't have happened. You were married at the time, and I'm nothing but a homewrecker. Don't say that, Nessa. Me and Nurse Joy were broken long before you ever came into the picture. Now please, just- Milo, I can't. Nessa, if we just- Milo! I'm dating someone else. What? No. Who? It doesn't matter. No, Nessa. Who is it? Just tell me. Okay, okay. It's Champion Leon. I'm sorry I wrecked your family. I'm sorry I led you on at the park. I I'm sorry for everything. I have to go. Nessa. Milo. It's over. Ooh, what you say? Good evening, Pokemon fans! Tonight is going to be another great battle between the challenger and gym leader, Melanie! As you know, Melanie is the Ice-type gym leader here in the Galar region. She's also the mother of the Rock-type gym leader, Gordy. And we actually have Gordy on the line right now. Gordy, what do you have to say about your mother? I wish you'd stop telling me to clean my room. It's clean, Mom. I vacuumed. And quit putting away my stuff. It's mine. I'm using it. Okay, that was what Gordy had to say about his mother, Melanie. Let's head on down to the stadium as the trainers make their entrance. My anaconda don't, my anaconda don't, my anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hon. Do you know what it's like having a terrible son who doesn't follow any of your rules? Someone who doesn't even have the decency to flush the toilet after they dropped a massive turd? I bet you don't. Anyway, have a great battle. I'm Tom Willington here, as always, with Mr. Red Fieldman. Red, how you doing? Eh, <laughs> is it another battle? Yes, Red, it's another battle. Have you taken your medicine? No, I don't need my medicine. I'm sick of it. Red, you're going to have to take your medicine or else you can't be on the show. All right, fine, damn it. The challenger starts off the battle with his Cinderace versus Frostmoth. Cinderace throws a flame charge at Frostmoth, and he is out of here in one single hit, folks! There is nothing stopping this guy, as usual. These battles are so easy and boring. Now, Red, it has to be accessible to everyone. Yeah, but Pokemon's been around for a while now. You'd think it'd be a little harder. Oh, trust me, it's hard, Red. The Challenger is just that special. Cinderace throws another Pyro Ball, and it's a one-shot once again! He is out of here! Yeah, yeah, boring as usual. Now, Red, he's a special trainer. That's why he's winning. I don't know about that. Seems like the gym leaders just kind of suck. Now, some might look at it that way, sure. Melanie sends out an Ice Q. Ice Q! Ice Q uses Icy Wind, and it's not very effective on Cinderace. I can feel that from here, Red. Her ice is rock solid. You think that's hard? Feel these nipples. Ooh. Cinderace uses another pyro ball, and this time he makes contact. Ice Q is out of here in one hit once again. All right, let's just get this over with. She obviously doesn't stand a chance. Please take your time defeating me so I can stay away from Gordy a bit longer. Hey, yo, Mom. Mom. Yes, sweetie. 
Don't forget to pick up some Funyuns before you get home. Okay, sweetie, sure thing. Would you also like me to grab you some candy for your lazy ass? What? I said you need some extra cash. Oh, no, I'm good. Okay, you piece of shit. Melanie sends out Lapras. Hey, I know that one. It's Lapras. It's a whole new way we live in. It's a whole new way to see. Those were the good old days. Now, Red, that kind of attitude's gonna get people calling you Boomer. Ah, shut up. The challenger Dynamaxes Cinderus, and now Melanie is Dynamaxing Lapras. And it is massive. Ah, that's not my Lapras. Lapras uses Max Geyser on Cinderace, and it's super effective, sending his health down to half. It has started to rain, folks. Put on your coats. Cinderace uses Max Knuckle, and Lapras is not looking great, but he stays up. Lapras uses Max Geyser once again, and oh my god, for the first time, the challenger loses a Pokemon. Too easy for you now, Red? Now he's just gonna bait her with the next one. Still, though, I mean, she got one. That's a pretty big deal, right? Uh, I guess. Finally, something a little exciting. And now Feeble uses Foul Play and Lapras is out of here. But anyway, at least she got one. Am I right, Red? Yeah, I guess that's a pretty big deal. That is it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you next time. And then she cut off our secret dates and said it was over. So I thought I'd come and ask you for some advice. So they tossed you aside and treated you like trash, too? That challenger has been the root of everyone's problems lately. So I guess we're out for the same thing then. Revenge.